Hello everyone. Hello. This is Shannon and Amy from Paranormal Couple. Today we decided to go on a little adventure. We headed to the Land Between the Lakes. Just came through the Kentucky side. We're now on the Tennessee side of the Land Between the Lakes at the Great Western Iron Furnace. We came here to um, see what this was like before we go to a location that we're headed to. About a quarter of a mile up the road. Um, we are going to a house that was owned by a man named Cleo Griffin, who was a World War II veteran. And when the TVA came through and got rid of most of the houses in the area, it's one of the only abandoned houses left in the area. One of the only few. One of the only few. Not too many around here. Um, after they made him leave, he decided to keep coming back, keep coming back. Um, I believe he had dementia, didn't he? He suffered from PTSD. And PTSD from the war. Um, eventually, they couldn't keep him from coming back, so they let him stay. And his family would come check on him and bring him water and even cook for him on the weekends um, so he could stay where he wanted to go. Because no matter where they took him, he always ended up back home. I believe he lived there until 1989. And then he passed away, what was it? In 2000. In 2000. Um, that's where we're headed soon enough, but we wanted to stop here and explain where we were headed to so everyone knew what was going on. Um, we're getting ready to leave the furnace right now and head that way. Um, we will see you then. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, we finally made it to Cleo Griffin's residence. Of course, we cannot go inside because there's no trespassing posted and live feed surveillance. Uh, so what we decided to do was a necrophonic session in front of the home and see if maybe Cleo decided to come back again, even after death. He seemed to come back a lot while he was alive, so he may have some kind of energy here. Um, I'm getting ready to start the necrophonic session and I'll have Amy ask a few questions and we'll see what happens. Had an on his <coughs> Hello Cleo, are you still here? You are. Hello. My name is Amy. And this is my husband Shannon. Hello. And we come here today meaning you no harm or disrespect. We've just come to communicate. <laughs> we find your story pretty amazing that you were able to stay here. <laughs> Did you decide to come back after you passed away? Are you here? Can you show yourself in the window? Did you see what the gift we left for you, Cleo? <laughs> How long have you been here? Are you here now? What is your name? The energy? Are your parents still here with you, Cleo? I've also got this other neat little device that you can touch and it'll light up to show that you're here. All you have to do is just touch out at it and it'll give me colors. <laughs> See, we'll show you like this. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do it then. 
When you pass away in the nursing home, something tells me you decide to come back again. Am I correct? Are you still here with us? It looks like they tried to fix some of the house, or at least hold it up. Were you here when they were renovating or tried to clean up some of it? There's a Veterans Association. He's here? Yes. Does, does he know that local veterans tried to clean up his house for him? Can you show yourself in the window up there? Or tell us something to prove that you're here? If we could come, if we could come inside, we would. Do you like people, do you like people coming here? Okay, well, Cleo, we really appreciate your time. And we're, when we close this device, we're closing the door. And then you won't be able to leave with us or any more communication, but we appreciate what you've gave us. Is there anything you'd like to say before we leave? What would you like to tell us? Any final words, Cleo? We really appreciate your time. And I hope that if you did come back here that you are happy and this is where you truly want to be. Hello everyone, we're still on our journey. Land Between the Lakes, uh, Tennessee and Kentucky side, back and forth. Uh, right now we're headed to the infamous Hotel California, which I believe is on the Kentucky side. Um, the road is probably too much for the Corolla, <laughs> so we may have to park and get out and walk a little bit to get there. But once we get there, we'll start another video. Thank you guys very much. Hello, is there anybody with us here? We aren't here to harm you or to mess up anything or to write on anything. We just want to communicate and all you have to do is speak and we can pick up your voice. My name's Amy. What's your name? My name is Shannon. We do this a lot. It took us a while to find this place. Who used to own this house? A captain? <laughs> Do you know why they call this place Hotel California?
da. Is there anything? Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Should we go down the steps? Will you tell us something? <laughs> We're not here to destroy any property or do anything to disrespect this place. We would just like you to communicate. I know people come here a lot to party. It looks like they spray painted on every wall here. Right. I How many spirits are there here if there is any? You say just two? Who is here? What's the EMF doing? No. Is there anyone in here? Can you hear me in here? Is there anything we can do to help you? I'm hitting right here. I'm picking up on something. Is there something touching the EMF? Now it stopped. Do you like it when people come out here? How many of you are there? Four. You heard two? What is that? I said Kentucky. Does it upset you when people come and spray paint on the building? I don't I don't feel anything here. I'm gonna echo one. Okay. I'm just going to do a walk through. All right, guys, that's Hotel California at LBL. Um, pretty cool place to check out. A lot of people's vandalized it and wrote some rather ugly things on it, but it's still a pretty cool place to visit. And we have some friends with us here today. Hi! <laughs> we're at a old cemetery, Lamb Between the Lakes, at a church. And we're going to do a necrophonic session starting now. Hello, is anybody here with us? No. Hello. 
Did you say you were freaking out? My name's Amy. What's yours? But I'm Amy. Do you like all the gifts that people leave you? I notice there's a lot of coins. I heard coins. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate? Anything you'd like to say? All you have to do is speak and it'll pick it, pick it up. Yes, yeah, speak. Is that, a little, uh, is that a little girl? Is there a little girl here? No. Set. What is your name? Um, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you would like to tell her? Thought I heard I'm mad. Girl. The girl? Yes. Is there a girl here? Yeah. What is your name? Could you say, could you say the last name of the family you belong to? Do you remember your name? Do you remember when you passed away? Do you remember how old you were when you passed away? That's what it sounded like, wasn't it? Is there anything that you want to tell? I thought I heard bye. Please? What would you like us to do? It sounds like you're in distress. You need help? <laughs> Would you like us? Would you like us to go back into the church? Yeah. Yeah. The church is beautiful. Would you talk to us in the church? We know the light is flickering. Before we go in here, I want you to know there's no disrespect whatsoever. We just want to communicate. Is that okay with you? Cool. Very cool. flickering again. It's nice to meet you. You too. It's a beautiful church. Is that you that I feel? You are here, aren't you? Are you okay? 
Are you making the light flicker? If it is you, could you make it stop for me? That would be a really cool way to show that you're here. Do a lot of people come and sign the book? Did you used to attend church here? No. No? Is there a Ray Parish here? Ray. That's his What kind of noise? Yeah. There's like a creaking. Yeah. Like a, if like we a, sit here, will you tell us what you talk about on Sunday? <laughs> Was that what you heard a minute ago? Yeah, I can ask him down there. Your faith is important to you. Can you tell us about that? What about the afterlife? What is that like? Great. Can you tell us about God? Can I talk to the little girl again? Uh, Hi. And, and, uh, what is your name, sweetheart? Could you tell me? I, what was the preacher's name that used to preach here? Can you say Ray for us? How come the flashlight only flashes when we're in the church? Is it time for us to leave? All right, well, we appreciate you communicating with us. Also, we're shutting this door once we shut the door to the church. You're not allowed to go with us. Yes, you are not allowed to leave with us, but we do appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm waiting on to stop. It's still doing it. All right, guys. Well, that what is it? It's never done that before. I'm not the only one that heard it's time to go, right? No. no it's yes. Okay. Yes, that's what they said. Okay. Aww. And I just heard somebody going from the door too. Did you hear that? No, but I yep. didn't hear a creak. I just heard time. somebody was beating on the door. Yep. It just went dunk, dunk. Did you hear it? Could you beat on the door again? What the? 
I turned it off and did it then. Yeah. Are you scared? Ooh. I got goosebumps on that one. I'm My heart hurts for me. I know. Yes. It's... I'm not scared. I don't. I my heart like it's just. Ooh. Wait. No, baby, that was just it's my just phone. It's like sad. My it's heart It's an hurts. adrenaline rush. Big time. Oh, oh be careful. Look. Can you touch the doorknob? Oh wow. It's spiking all the way. I'm, I'm like... Can you make it go red for us? And then we'll leave. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Holy crap.